It's on a beach. Mm-hmm. Describe this beach for me. What does it look like? It's um. It has like cliffs around it. Mm-hmm. It's like Spain, sort of. Mm-hmm. It has the oceans in front of me, and I'm sitting on the sand. Very good. So as you sit on that sand, I'd like for you to use all of your senses and tell me how does that sand feel on your body? Mm, it's nice. Mm-hmm. What else do you see around you besides just this beach? Look all around. There's shops and things like further back behind me. Mm-hmm. Look at these shops and tell me, do they seem like modern shops or do they seem like ancient shops? Modern. Modern. Very good. Very good. Now, out of this scene, which is the one that calls your attention the most, what seems interesting about this whole scene? Oh, just that it's so nice Mm -hmm. and so relaxing and warm. Mm Mm-hmm. Look out into the water and tell me what color that water is. Ah, it's blue. It's beautiful blue. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for you now to stand up and let's go towards that water. And I'd like for you to begin walking into that water. Allowing yourself to feel what it would feel like to have water. Mm -hmm. And as you go deeper and deeper, I'd like for you to imagine that you could breathe under this water. And I'd like for you now to submerge yourself in this water. And you'll be able to see and hear and sense everything under the water. And tell me, as you begin to explore, what you see. It's a lot of fish. Mm-hmm. And plants and stuff. So let's explore even further. I want you to imagine yourself going even deeper. And as you go deeper, tell me how it changes, how the scene changes as you go deeper. It kind of gets darker. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to use all of your senses to see what's in this place. And we're going to look for an opening. Perhaps it's like a cave. And I'd like for you to use your senses to find that opening. And tell me, what's the first impression that you get as you find this opening? It's more like a riptide. All right. So let's go along with it. Tell me everything you experience. (laughs) Mm -hmm. It just kind of shoots me through the water really Mm -hmm. fast. Okay. And tell me where it goes, where you go to. Oh. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the sensation as it shoots you through the water. And tell me everything you experience along the way. It's just going really fast and it's kind of nice. Only because I could breathe there. (laughs) It wouldn't be nice if I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, that's nice. Um, What do you see? What do you experience? Mm, okay, so it kind of s- softens its push. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's an island. Tell me about it. Okay, it's like a nothing island. It's like just sand and a palm tree and very... Um, not bad desolate, just kind of desolate. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
That's all I see right now. All right, so can you get on this land? Yeah. All right, so let's walk onto this land and let's find out what's there. Look all around you. What's on this island? Look for the details. Tell me everything you see. All I see is like a plain old island and it's not very big mm -hmm. it's just like probably a little small i don't know what they're called but nothing it's mm -hmm. as you're walking on that island look down at your feet do you feel like you have feet i i don't see them hmm. very good so if you don't have feet we can then travel yeah. Even easier. So let's begin to use our consciousness to travel even further. Let's go drifting and floating and see what we discover. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's it's more like turning into, I mean, like I'm so not on the island now. It's mm -hmm. sort of like turning into desert like the Middle East mm -hmm. kind of desert very good so describe everything you see as you see it I see I see men with their camels mm -hmm. very good are they far away or close they're below me mm -hmm. very good so let's follow them and see they're just kind of standing there chatting, and they're like so dressed up like a, in their Arabic type kind of clothes. Mm -hmm. So tell me how many you see. I think there's like three men. Mm -hmm. And they're just talking. They're just standing around. So allow yourself to get closer and closer. Tell me what happens now as you get closer. They're kind of serious. Mm -hmm. They're... They know each other. But they're kind of serious and they're talking about... I think they're talking about some deal that went wrong mm -hmm. or losing money in a deal or something like that type of thing mm -hmm. well since you're consciousness you're you can connect you can connect with their thoughts and their emotions so connect and tell me if there's anyone in particular that you connect with most yeah there's this one man mm -hmm. and he's um very arabic looking you know mm -hmm. with the nose mm -hmm. that's in the skin and the He's got a beard, and he's he's a very um, stern person. Mm -hmm. What do you feel from him? He's angry. All right, let's find out what he's angry about. He's angry because he's been cheated on something, and... I don't know if he's talking to these people, trying to f tell them his story, or if he's angry with them. Mm -hmm. So let's unwind a little bit, rewind to go back a little bit further to see what he's angry about. I'd like for you to close that scene and see this man and find out how was he was betrayed. Be there now. What do you imagine is there? I imagine he's in this house. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a smaller house, plain. And he's the head of the household. Mm -hmm. he's, he has a wife. Mm -hmm. And he's a person who feels 
because he was raised this way that he is the head of the household mm. and that she he loves her but she has her place and he's just sitting at the table I guess waiting for his dinner or waiting for her to do something for him because that's her job is to do whatever she's supposed to do for him mm -hmm. wow <laughs> what happens next? Um, I don't know, let me see. Connect with him heart to heart and mind to mind. Be one mind. Okay. Give me a minute here. He's... He's a very frustrated man. Things don't seem to be going right at work for him. He, I think... Oh, wait. Don't think, just don't know. Think. Okay, hold on. He's... I don't know, I'm losing it. Let me see. I'll just close that scene and move on to the next scene and see what happens. Okay. What's happening now? Um, maybe he makes knives. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what his business is. But it's a big business. Mm -hmm. And people work for him. All right, so... Tell me everything that you're imagining there. What are you seeing? Where are you? I'm in a, it's a small, small village or something. It's, because all I see is his building, mm -hmm. like on the edge of town. And I think that's what they make, or like knives and swords and things like that. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't actually do it. He is the owner of the business mm -hmm. and, and he oversees it and he's he is mm -hmm. connect with the emotions okay he, he feels like things aren't working really well that the people that work for him aren't doing their jobs right or something Something is not right. Something is... He's frustrated and he's angry over the way things are not working the way they're supposed to for some reason. He's losing money and he's... He's just frustrated and the way it comes out of him, the frustration is angry, stern. He's a stern man. Mm -hmm. What happens next? He walks away and he's just feeling really down. It's like he doesn't have to be stern when he's by himself and he's just very down. It's like life isn't turning out how he thought it would and his business is failing and he's just not a happy camper. Is there anything else from that scene that's important? Look around. He's walking away. He's just walking away. That's all I see him doing. Alright, so now let's close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene in that man's lifetime. See what happens. There's family, lots of family, mm -hmm. lots of children. And somebody just had a baby. I think it's his son or daughter who just had a baby. His son did. And everybody's really happy mm -hmm. and they're celebrating and he's he's really happy this is meaning a lot to him mm -hmm. yeah connect with his heart this is his life this is what he loves mm -hmm. even though 
he has his place as the man to be stern and to be the boss and everything. He's still, this is, this is what makes his heart gentle, is his family. Mm-hmm. Very good. Is there anything else in that scene that's important? It's his daughter who had the baby. Mm-hmm. And he loves his daughter very much. She's, yeah. Very good. Now, can you see his daughter's eyes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're the, brown. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes in the life of Mary? Do they seem familiar? They have a connection, but I can't think of who it is. It's somebody I know. And you'll know them as a soul. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's move on to the next scene. Let's find out what has happened. Hmm. Where are you? I don't know. Let's go to a scene in that same lifetime when something very significant is happening. Something that's impacting that life. I think there's been a war or something. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I don't see the war. I see that something has happened like that. Um, What do you feel or see around you? I feel devastation. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's... Maybe they've killed his neighbors and his friends and... So dive into that and you'll know. Who's gone now? I don't see anybody around him. Mm -hmm. But he's angry and he's hurt. I think his wife is there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Where are you there? In the desert. Mm -hmm. What's the reason why you're in the desert there? What's happened? They had to leave the town. Mm -hmm. He doesn't feel hopeless. He feels like he can fight. I don't know who he's fighting, but he feels, he still feels strength in him. So let's find out what happens next. Where does this life turn into? Close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene. He can fight. He's gathering people to fight. Mm -hmm. Somebody's really devastated. Somebody's done horrible things in their village and hurt people and kill people and mm-hmm. it's unfair it's, it's not fair that, that they did that mm-hmm. they were just living their lives and doing their life and there was no reason for this not to them there's no reason they were they've got to do something mm-hmm. so let's follow it and see What happens? Uh, They're having a meeting. Mm -hmm. Who's meeting? Look around you. It's actually all the people of the village. You wouldn't think women would be there, but there's women there too. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there. Let's find out what they're discussing. They're talking about what they can do. 
what the, what their options are and how they could fight and what they would need and but I still don't know who they're fighting. I don't think they know who's who's done this. Mm -hmm. So it kind of leaves them in a bad place, but they want to be prepared. They want to be ready if it happens again. Very good. So let's continue and find the next significant scene in that lifetime. <laughs> wow, is this off base or what? Tell me what's happening. Okay. There's a... <laughs> They've been invaded by spaceship. <laughs> wow. Okay. I didn't expect that one. All right. So, um, so describe it for me. Yeah, there's this great big, big, like, UFO, a big spaceship. It's white. It's silvery white. It's big. Wow. What's happening? It's already done everything. It's like... It's... What's it done? The, the town is like leveled. It's gone. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't expect that. Wow. That's it. That's all. It's just sitting there. I don't know if they got it or what, but right. it's just sitting there. All right. So let's fast forward now. Close that scene and let's move to the next significant scene. Let's see what happens. I don't see anything anymore. That's it. All I right. saw that spaceship. That was it. I saw the town being leveled. Very good. So now let's move and float away from that scene and let's find out who they are who came. I want you to f go ahead and begin floating and drifting and let's find out who's being, who these beings are. Connect with them now. I'd like for you to hover over that ship. What do you see? <laughs> Aliens. All right. Well, describe it for me. They got big old heads. Mm -hmm. Kind of like, look like that horrible, uh, what is that on American Dad? <laughs> Except for like real. <laughs> mm -hmm. How many do you see? Oh, let me see that. Um, I think there's a lot on the ship, but I only see two right now, too. But there's more around. There's so more. let's find out what they're doing there. Connect with them. They don't know what they're doing. They're in, um, this is the first time they've been seen this. They're not like after to invade the world or anything. They're just... Tell me more. Get closer. What are you sensing? Um, they're kind of, <laughs> they're not real smart. Mm -hmm. Can you go inside of the ship? Yeah. All right, so describe the ship from the inside. Um, the center is like, oh, let me... Okay. It's big and it's round and the rooms are round like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the center room. The center room is like 
where they work from, where they can see, they can see through the bottom of the ship. They could see through the ship, mm -hmm. actually. They could see through the whole entire thing. But there is a floor. I mean, they could see, you could see the floor. Mm -hmm. And there's people like working on the rounded part of it, mm -hmm. the, you know, the outskirts, not outside of it, but inside. Mm -hmm. There's people doing their jobs. And on the inside, I'm getting really cold. <laughs> so sorry. Um, on the inside, there's this guy is like important, but he's kind of stupid. He's not very intelligent. You would think, knowing what they know, he would be a little smarter. But he's he's not. I don't know. How many do you see? I think they're just seeing checking out places and they mm -hmm. happen to land here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. There's a lot of people doing business around the inside on the sides. And the people that are like the captain or whatever is in the middle with the people that help him. Mm -hmm. That's what I see. And I think that they're like I feel like they're like joyriding or something mm -hmm. that, not that they stole that ship or something, but they're not, they're just not very intelligent. They're, they're just checking places out like they're for fun almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Do you see any others doing anything else besides the work on the ship? Do you see any humans on the ship? No. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? Who? The, the, the ones that are controlling the ship. Kind of like... They, they've got big heads and they're, they're smooth and they've got long arms. Mm -hmm. What color are they? They're white. Do you imagine that they're very tall? Are they short? Yeah, they're tall. They're, you know, like six, seven feet, six feet probably. Mm -hmm. And I just keep oh keep getting this feeling that they're really stupid. Kind of like I don't know if you want you want me to go in on mm -hmm. this thing, but kind of like God, if this if people see this, they won't like this. But like gangs, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like they're not very smart to be doing what they're doing and they're not really thinking they just kind of are doing it and that's what these people are like or whatever they are they're just they're they're not they don't have a plan mm -hmm. that's it they don't have a plan they're just doing it mm -hmm. that's all very good so let's find out what happens to the ship let's continue and fast forward and see what happens to the ship. I think it's been downed, like whatever happened, mm -hmm. it, it's been downed. It's on the sand and it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're trying to figure out what to do. And I don't, yeah. So let's so. see what happens. I want you to fast forward it some more and see what happens to them. What happens next? I don't know. All right, so let's close that scene now. Leave that scene and let's go drifting and floating to another lifetime to where there's more information. I'd like for you to see yourself again drifting and floating, using your conscious mind to just take you to the next important lifetime. Be there now. What do you imagine? 
um, I imagine this is a whole different place. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. I live in a house that's made out of wood. I have sisters. I'm a girl. Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know what year it is. Trust your first impression. What's the year that comes into mind? Oh, in the 1600s, maybe. Mm-hmm. But it's like in a forest. It's not like city or anything. It's like Tell me more. Describe everything for me. Okay. It's a, um, they're wearing dresses. The girls are wearing dresses. They're about, oh, probably in their teens, maybe. Mm-hmm. And they're wearing, not dresses to the floor, but like middies type and it's in aprons. What are you wearing? That's what I'm wearing, and it's um, like my dress is brown, Mm -hmm. it has white apron, lots of petticoats it seems like, not real, real full, but Mm -hmm. kind of full. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Um, I have wavy hair, Mm -hmm. but it's in in braids. How old do you feel? How Um, old do you feel? Seventeen, mm-hmm. maybe. Well, what do they call you there? <laughs> Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. So when I say the name Gwendolyn, does that resonate with you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Gwendolyn, let's see what's happening in this lifetime. Let's see what you're doing here. Um. What are you and your sisters doing today? Just being silly, we're playing, cooking, baking. Mm -hmm. We like each other. Mm -hmm. Can you see your sister's eyes? Yeah. Take a look at their eyes and see if you recognize them in the life of Mary. I think one of them is Katie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So now let's see what it is that you're doing with your sister. What's significant about this day? I think they're preparing for something. Mm -hmm. And they're having fun and they're laughing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing, Gwendolyn? I'm stirring the batter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were going to make cake or something, so there must be some kind of celebration going on. Mm So let's fast forward to the moment of the celebration and let's find out what's happening. Somebody's back, like an uncle or or some relative is back from somewhere. All right, let's find out who who he is and where he's gone. He was on a ship for a long time, Mm -hmm. went to other countries and explored and brought home nice things, nice treasures and things and spices and he's funny and he's nice and he's got a beard and he's he's jovial and everybody loves being around him because he's so much fun. Mm -hmm. Who else is there with you? Oh, there's lots of people. There's all of my family and friends and people from the town that must be nearby. We're kind of in the woods, so it's not really right there, but everybody loves this man. He's just absolutely fun. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens after this. What's important about this? Um, I don't know, we're just celebrating, Mm -hmm. and then, and then 
everybody goes home. He doesn't come home with us, though. I don't know where he goes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And just go home. So let's close that scene, and now let's go to the next important scene of that lifetime, when something important is happening. Oh, I'm having a baby. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm actually in labor. Mm -hmm. Who's around you? Um... My husband's there, mm -hmm. and there's a doc, a male doctor, actually, which would be weird in that time, huh? Mm -hmm. He's there. Tell me more. Look around. What are the circumstances? What's happening there? Um. I'm not in the bedroom. I'm like down in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Describe everything that's happening. Um, without the pain, I can feel having the baby, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, you can, you don't have to have the discomfort. Just go through the scene without it. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. Mm -hmm. What happened? I'm having the baby. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Uh, physically? Mm -hmm. It feels like having a baby without the pain. It's like my... Stomach, my stomach, my my uterus, my everything. I can feel having this baby. This is so amazing. Mm -hmm. So the enjoy the sensation of bringing that life into this world. Connect with that baby. It's a boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he's gorgeous. Okay, yeah, he's sweet. He's. I'm just so excited. I'm just so happy. And my husband's happy. Mm -hmm. He's really young. My husband is really young. He's 20s, early 20s, it seems. Mm -hmm. He's got curly hair, and he doesn't have any facial hair. Take a look at his eyes. Do you recognize him in the life of Mary? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feel the sensation of connecting. <laughs> Feel the souls. Look at that baby. Yeah. That's your baby's eyes. Who is that baby? Do you recognize your baby? Uh, it's weird. It's all. It's all of what we could have had. My baby is all of what we could have had. Mm -hmm. And he's beautiful. Do you recognize this little soul? No. Mm -hmm. He's beautiful though. So tune into your emotions. This moment of connection.
It's like pure love. Mm -hmm. Absorb it into every cell of your body, knowing that this is what it feels like to create life, to co-create life, not only with another, but with the divine, joining two souls to create another. And as you create life, you can create anything in the world. You have the power of creation in every cell of your body. Absorb that love knowing that you are a creator. And that's what you do, create love. So now, is there anything else in that scene that's important? Good. So let's close that scene. Let's move away from that scene. And let's go to the next significant event in that lifetime. I'm just happy. Mm -hmm. Where are you and who's around you? We're in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Who's there with you? My husband. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel pretty good. And I have kids. I have a few kids. Mm -hmm. and they're older. They're not babies or anything. They're older. How many children do you have there? I have three, four, three, <laughs> three or four. <laughs> three or four children? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're older? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's two girls and two boys. So what's important about this event that you're witnessing right now? Just the joy of being a family. Mm -hmm. Just that everybody really loves each other. It's a beautiful feeling. It is a beautiful feeling. Mm -hmm. So now let's move on to another scene. Close that scene and let's go now to when you're older and tell me where you are. I'm shopping. Mm -hmm. I have gray hair. I'm happy. I'm a happy person. I'm just buying vegetables and things. And I know everybody and they, we all, it's just a happy life. Mm -hmm. Is there anything important in that scene? Just how happy it is. Wonderful. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. It is. So now let's close that scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Go forward to the last day. And tell me where you are. I'm lying in bed. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? With my family. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's happening to you. I'm gonna die and I'm all right. Mm -hmm. I really had a really nice life. Mm -hmm. What are the things you're thinking about there? How grateful I am. How happy I am and how close my family is and how I got to spend that time with my husband and my children. It's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's take the last breath. Allow yourself to take that last breath and transition out of that body, leaving that body behind. And let's move on and see where you go. Where does your soul go after you leave that body? What happens? What 
Look around you. Where are you? It's nothing right now. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. So let's continue through that vast nothingness. And let's find your guide. Your guide will appear in any shape or form. Allow your guide to meet you in that nothingness. Tell me what you experience. It's a woman. Mm -hmm. It's a woman. She takes my hand. She's... She's been with me. She's been with me forever. Mm -hmm. And we just walk. We're not even going anywhere in particular. Do you call her by any name? No. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be with her? It feels like she's been there forever and ever. That mm -hmm. she's she is. She just is. Mm -hmm. So let's see where she takes you today. After this lifetime of this very happy woman. I could see the whole universe. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's, what do you see? It's, it's big. It's forever. I see planets. I see universes. What's the purpose of seeing this universe at this time? What's your impression of the reason behind seeing all of this? that it's vast mm -hmm. it's, how does it feel it feels so big and perfect mm -hmm. like the last life you had yeah mm -hmm. but more so more big mm -hmm. It's, it's what everyone should experience. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to feel that emotion. Feel that awesomeness of this vast universe. Knowing that we are a part of this. We play a role in all of that. 
We are one with all of that. It is our home. Absorb that beauty. And now I'd like for you to meet with your counsel. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's meet with those that review your life with you. Be there now. Hmm. Where are you? It's very white. Mm -hmm. I can almost see a, a person in the white blending in with the white. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's old. He's Tell me more. What else do you experience there? I think he knows everything. Mm -hmm. Is it just him? Yeah, right now it's just him. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with him telepathically and let's find out what he tells you. He's telling me I have to be a part of everything. Mm -hmm. We're all part of it. Mm. Tell him to explain that a little further. The reason things are what they are is because we make it. And I don't mean, I mean we've... Uh, our... Wait. Somehow, just our existence, our, and when I say existence, I don't mean who, our existence creates matter, creates, because we are we create what is. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Tell me more. I'm kind of feeling that to mm -hmm. tell you the truth, and it's like we don't. It's something we should know, but we're hidden from it. We hide ourselves from knowing it. And it's like, we, cr we create, we create, we create everything on different levels. We create everything, everything, not just, not, not just you're going to make something you create on every level. You create wars, you create the ocean, you create space, you create... We're not just a part of it, we, we create it.
we have that privilege and it's really exciting because we get to do it and we don't even know it here we don't even know that we can do all that and you experienced a small portion of it while you were giving birth to a child that you created and your God showed you the universe that you created. Yeah. We don't know how amazing we are. We don't have a clue. So now that we have that information, how can Mary change her life? Can she create a life of bliss? Mary already lives in a life of bliss. She wants to bring back that quality of innocence and love that she had as a child. She wants to break the fear. Mm -hmm. That's all she wants to do. She has that innocence. She has that love. She cares deeply about people. So what's holding her back? Herself. Mm -hmm. her, her fears of not looking, not fitting in. Not, yeah. Is she meant to fit in? She's never fit in, mm -hmm. ever. Since she was born. Since she was born. Mm -hmm. She lives on a different level than other people. Would you tell her about that level? She, she, sees, she sees people's spirits in a way. And she, she loves them no matter what. But she doesn't, on the outside, she doesn't give the effect that she loves <laughs> as much as she does. Mm -hmm. And so, she, because her, the outside is giving the wrong impression, she can't expand. What's holding her back? The fear of other people. not liking her or thinking she's crazy or or getting angry with her because she's not saying the right things she doesn't fit in very well anywhere ever mm -hmm. is she supposed to did she sign up to fit in well apparently not mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and i I and she don't mind that. Mm -hmm. So why is there any fear if there's no minding of that? Can we break away that fear today of understanding that she is a creator being, that she has the power to create and doesn't have to fit in as a creator? I don't know. Because just as she can create anything, she's creating her own fear. She's creating her own limitations. Yes, she is, isn't she? Mm -hmm. So why is she creating that? Let's find out the origin of that. What was she supposed to be learning here at this time? By limiting herself. She's supposed to bring in information. Mm -hmm supposed to bring in lots of information she has it she's and she even knows she has it mm -hmm. what's holding her back <laughs> people mm -hmm. people are holding her back but that's who she wants to give the information to at the same mm -hmm. time the spirit she I want to bring the spirit to the people I want to that the, their spirits to know all this mm -hmm. But the people are holding me back from allowing me to say 
No, not just say, but to give that information to them. Well, she's put herself in a place where there's a lot of challenges with people, hasn't she? Yes. Yes. Has she created that situation too? Where she has to go over the high obstacles to get to them? Maybe. Mm -hmm. You showed her a very, very easy life. Yeah. That was nice. Mm -hmm. So what did she choose now for this life? Well, the second half of her life, she's chosen the easy life. Mm -hmm. And she's enjoying every minute of that easy life. And she's loving it. But she still has challenges to be able to spread her wings yeah. and bring the information in. She can do it. She's waiting for the right time. Mm -hmm. It's so, coming. Very good. So what are the signs she should be looking for? She needs people that are somewhat on her level, mm -hmm. on where she is, her thought patterns, her... I don't know if that's the words I want. She's 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 in a, spa a space right now where the people she's with are amazing people, but they're not. They're in a different density, kind of. They're they're happy and loving and kind and. But they're, they're not expansive. Mm -hmm. And she needs... But she has her fears of those expansive people, too, because there's so many of them are, that are followers. And she doesn't want followers. She wants... She wants people to... to use their expansiveness to become more of who they are. And if a person's following, they can't be more of who they are. And she's got that fear that she's going to deal with a lot of those people and it's going to piss her off. Mm -hmm. So she's she's kind of scared to go into that area, too. Mm -hmm. But as I've heard before, fear is just false evidence appearing real. Is there anything really for her to fear? She had experiences in the past mm -hmm. where she was very open to help people. And some people sucked her dry, so there was nothing left but an empty shell for a while. Mm -hmm. And that was so difficult for her. Is she living in that time now? No. No. Does she need to hold on to that baggage? No. All right. Would you allow me to release that fear of being sucked dry? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to go ahead and bring out all of that fear of having the same thing done to you. Allow that to come out of every cell. Bring it all out. We don't need to hold on to that baggage anymore. You tell me when I have it all. All right, let's take that and send it to the universe for healing. And now we have a vacant space. What would you like to fill that with? Confidence. All right, let's bring in the fire hose of confidence as it pumps in to every cell of your body, knowing that we all come here with that knowing, with that mission, with that information. And all you have to do is tap into that divine voice within you and that will take you on to whatever mission you need to do and let me touch your forehead and we'll seal that in what else would you like to put in there anything else vocabulary mm -hmm, very good so let's connect now 
with that higher part of you that as you meet with people you'll be able to connect with that voice within with that knowledge base of all of the lifetimes you've ever lived and be able to very eloquently express yourself so I'd like to ask the higher self a little more about this mission she says she has the gifts of empathy and some psychic abilities she wants to help with those so that she can help herself and others Can you tell her about these gifts? Mm. She's open to the universe and she always has been. Mm-hmm. What's holding her back? Or what was holding her back? It's not. It's there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, What advice would you like to give her about these gifts? The more she's with people, the more it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. The more that she's... She'd get out. It doesn't matter where she is, just talking with people. It's going to start coming out more and more and more. Well, that's one of the questions she had. What should she be doing? Obviously, being with people is important to bring these gifts out. But sometimes it's very cold, rainy, dark, dreary. And she doesn't have much motivation to get out there. What would drive her to get out? Not being so lazy. (laughs) (laughs) She's enjoying being lazy, but Mm -hmm. there's a time to just start doing something. Mm -hmm. She needs to, I think she needs to just, she hates going into Dublin. Mm -hmm. It's busy, there's lots of traffic, there's a billion people. She hates crowds. That's where she needs to go. Mm She needs to go somewhere every day, even if it's to just sit and have coffee and watch the people. Even if she's by herself, she needs to do that. So can I ask on her behalf for a guide that will go with her? They do always. Mm-hmm. And she knows that she knows that they're there. Well, let's get that guide to get her moving and take her out. Very good. Anything else that she should be doing? She needs to find her passion. She needs to find her passion. Mm -hmm. She doesn't do a lot of things. She's taken the hypnosis courses. She's going to be taking more classes. Is this the the right direction for her? They're fun. She should do it, but that's not where she's doing it. She should also start drawing and singing and playing piano and using all of those gifts that she has. And she stopped doing it when she's little, and she needs to start doing it again, and it'll come back. She doesn't know that she thinks that, that she lost it, but she still has that. And she can. She needs to practice, maybe take classes or something and start living, start cre- creating, start start doing something. Okay, very good. Can we get a guide to motivate her on that? Mm. Thank you. She tells me about a circle that appears above her her left eyebrow. What is that circle? Mm-hmm. What's the origin of that? It was put there, I don't know. It was put there. 
Let's find out the origin of it, and let's find out who put it there. Scan that area and tell me what it is. A tracker? Mm -hmm. A tracker? Let's find out when that tracker was put there. Show her a picture of when that happened. Was it in this lifetime? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happened. It's just sleeping. Mm -hmm. How old was she when that happened? 30s, in her 30s, maybe. Okay. Maybe, mm -hmm. yeah. And what was happening in her life at that time that allowed her to be vulnerable to this? She's always been watched. Mm -hmm. She's watched. Is this, what's, is this what tracking device what causes her head to shake? No. Mm -hmm. What does this tracker do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No house. No house. to watch her. Who are you that are watching her, please? A different dimension. Mm -hmm. Did Mary give you permission to track her? Yes. For what purpose? She's from here. Who is from here? Mary's here. Mm -hmm. So who is tracking her? We are. Who is we? Are you multidimensional beings? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what does Mary have to do with you? Why are you tracking her? For what purpose? To, to watch. Mm -hmm. What purpose are you watching her? Are you learning from her? Or are you controlling her in any way? No. She watch. To watch the to watch how to, people are. To watch how people are. To watch how this race is. Mm -hmm. And what race are you? Just a different dimension. Mm -hmm. Do you have physical bodies? No. No. When is it that Mary gave you permission to do this? When she came here. When did she go there? When she came to this earth, she came from where we are. Mm -hmm. From a different dimension? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why is it that that spot sometimes is shown? Why can she see it? We want her to remember. Mm -hmm. What do you want her to remember? Oh, 
want her to come. Do you want her to go there? You want no. You want her to come here to the earth to mm -hmm. here. Help with the change. Tell me about this change. You know the change. You know the change. Well, you describe to me what that change is because everybody gives me a different description of what the change is. What change is happening? It's opening. People are, are knowing. Mm -hmm. They're knowing. Mm -hmm. The cover, the, the cover of not knowing is going away. Mm -hmm. So what is Mary responsible for? Why did you want her coming here? To tell people. To let them know that... To give them comfort, to lead them. Mm -hmm. Do you think Mary's been doing that? Not lately. Mm -hmm. So you have an, a voice now. What would you like to tell people? since she's not been doing that. I want to tell. Mm -hmm. Open your minds. Open your minds. Don't take everything so seriously. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Open your mind and learn how to higher your vibration. Um, uh, what has been the best way to higher your vibration? Find all the good things. Even in the bad things, keep looking and feeling, feeling the good, the good, the good, the good, the good. And know you're feeling it even. No, be aware you're feeling it. Mm. Be aware, be aware. Be aware of, your, of the vibration. Mm -hmm. That's that's the key. That's the, the where we're gonna make the changes. Mm -hmm. That's where we're gonna make the changes is through the vibration. But you're doing it. Not it's not coming to you. It's there, mm -hmm. and you have to be aware of it. You just have to open up. You have to. It's like it's like. The body is covering it all up. It's in there, and it is what is real. The body isn't even real. It's not even real. Mm -hmm. It's what we've created to make this earth and live the way we do. We're not very good at it, are we? No. No. How can we make it even better? By seeing the good mm -hmm. in everything. In in the worst of the worst, mm -hmm. in your politics, in your in people doing terrible things, see what's good in that. There's something good in that, mm -hmm. and kind of like connect into that good and and do it. Notice you're doing it. Don't just think it's going to come to you. Notice that you're doing it. And it starts expanding and it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's the change. Mm -hmm. That's it. Are we going to see any physical changes during the change? Or is no. it a spiritual? Ultimately, mm -hmm. ultimately we will. Ultimately, we don't need these bodies anymore. How long is this change taking? Oh, through technology, we're 
we're opening up more and more and more and more and faster and faster and faster and faster. Mm-hmm. And it's through knowing, it's through, like I said, make yourself do it. Make yourself be aware that you're thinking these things. Make yourself be aware that I am going to look for this. I'm going to find the goodness in this. And the more you're doing that, the more you're opening up and more and more and more and more and your vibrations going higher and higher and higher and higher. And when it goes higher and higher and higher, you're becoming more there. Mm-hmm. And we're doing it now. People are doing it now. What happens if you're in a place, for example, a place where people aren't open to these ideas, where they're not very friendly people, where they don't say hello, where they're into themselves? How can we make an impact on those that don't believe in all of this? Our joy comes through. That's all we can give is our joy Mm -hmm. and our love and all of the good things. And the more that you give those good things, and the more people are confused. They get confused by you being happy. They get confused by the love that you give because they're not there. And there, that brings them to a spot where they have to use their heads, they have to think, they have to... Why, why am I not happy like that person? Why am I not feeling that? And that's what does it, is questioning. Question yourself, question everything. Until you are yourself and complete in who you are, that's the ultimate, is being complete, complete. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So can happiness be contagious like yawns? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Or if one person is happy, Another one will be happy. Yes. No matter where you are. No matter where you are. It doesn't matter. I mean, you have to be appropriate. You have to cry with them when they are crying. You have to hold them in your heart. You have to send good vibration to them. Mm -hmm. But in any circumstances, even in prison, you could probably be happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. In fact, probably... Yeah, in fact, there are people in prison that are there just for that. They might not even realize it, but that's their job. That's why they're there, is to help people raise their vibration, their their love and their kindness and their everything. People do look at them, even if they don't know, people look at them. And it's important. Very good. So would you tell me why is it that her head shakes so much? What's going on there? What's causing that? Lots of people it's happening to. Mm -hmm. What is that vibration all about? That shaking, that vibration throughout the body? There's so much information, there's so much there. There's a whole universe inside you that's bursting to get out. It's... Mm. What would you like to tell Mary about that vibration? Is it something that she needs to focus on because she can't sleep because of it? She needs it to stop. She does. She does. It's way too much. Mm-hmm. No doubt about it. So can I ask for assistance now of the higher self and the archangels to begin working on her head so that she doesn't get distracted by the vibrations? That she can sleep? Yeah. Very good. So when Mary puts her head on the pillow, 
ready to go to sleep at night. She will sleep soundly and deeply until the next day, until the morning. morning. She'll be meeting with her guides and be able to sleep soundly. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Do you have any other information about this change? Or can I go on to the next topic? Just be aware of yourself. Be aware of yourself. Thank you. She says that when she was a child, she saw a great expansion. What is this expansion that she saw? It was a dimension. Another dimension. Is this the dimension where she's from? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did she go into this dimension when she was a child? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What did she learn there? She was becoming more human. Hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? What does that mean, becoming more human? place where you know everything, mm -hmm. information, everything is there. Why did she go there as a child? We had to take her out of what she was going through. Mm -hmm. Did that help her? Yes. Mm -hmm. In this other place, were there others that helped her? Were there teachers or guides there? Or did she just go into the vastness of it, of this information? Just the vastness. It was the place itself. The place itself was the information, mm -hmm. the, the, what we had to give her. Mm -hmm. Is she using that information now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does anybody else go to this information place? Yes. Mm -hmm. When do we do that? Through our lives, mm -hmm. all the time, here. Is this while we sleep? Or in our work, waking time? It's all the time. All the time. So a certain part of us goes there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you have any more information about this place? For example, how do we tap into it? Meditation. Mm -hmm. Meditation. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. If you can really go into your meditation, you can get there. You can go there. Mm -hmm. Is that the reason why everyone is told to meditate? One of the reasons, mm -hmm. yeah. Good, good. Anything else about this place? No, thank you. She tells me that once she saw a dog rising in the sky. What was that? She was open. Mm. She was open. Lots of things are going on. Lots of things are going on. It's like having infrared vision, but in a different kind of energy. Mm -hmm. 
we all have it, and we can all, but we don't use it. We don't know how to use it at this point, but we will. Mm-hmm. Was this a real dog, or was it a soul of a dog? It was a real dog. A real dog. So dogs do float up into the sky? Everything can float up into the sky. Mm. So this is just one reality that she was seeing? Yes. Which, which she created? It's there, too. There's it's, lots of realities. Okay. And she was just seeing through. Yeah. Through the veil, I guess. Mm-hmm. She tells me also that when she was younger, and even still, when she gets into a certain state, somebody reads to her. Who reads to her? One of her guides. One of her guides. Does this guide have a name? Annabelle? Annabelle. (laughs) Oh, for God's sake. Annabelle? (laughs) Yes. Did Annabelle, does Annabelle know Mary from a different lifetime? Yes. What were they before? That was her grandma. I mean, that wasn't Mary's grandma. That was in another lifetime. It was uh-huh. her grandma. Uh-huh. So she continues to read to her? Yes. Mm-hmm. Are these just, is this information that she needs to know or just to soothe her? What's the purpose? Both. Both. What kind of information is Annabelle giving her? If there's peace, uh, uh, awareness if something's going to happen it was a guide it was a way of of helping her not fall asleep at the wheel not to be able to to get through things mm-hmm. it was it was gentle wonderful she also tell me, tells me of a situation where somebody jumped into her This has happened for a reason. Hmm. Hmm. Does she have any other souls that are perhaps taking up space? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) How about that? Tell me about it. Who's there? Someone from that apartment. Mm -hmm. Are they still there? Yeah, loving it. Okay, where are they? What part of the body? Uh, uh, Heart, stomach area. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me bring it up. I'm going to bring the energy up, 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 up. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What's your name, please? Tom. Tom. Tom, why is it that you're attached to this woman? Because it's fun. It's fun. What are you getting out of it? Joy. Mm -hmm. What are you giving her instead? Oh, we're sharing it. Sharing it. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Were you a joyous person, Tom? Yes. Mm-hmm. So why is it that you did not go home and attach to her? She needed me. She did. Does she need you now? I don't know. We're so together. I don't know. Wouldn't it be nice for her to be together with her husband and not with you, Tom? I think it's a little bit of a strange situation there oh it's not romantic i'm not saying it is but she has her own free will she has her own body she doesn't need another soul attached to it you say you're there for the joy Mm -hmm. and i give her joy Mm -hmm. don't you think she gets enough joy on her own she didn't then. Mm-hmm. But she does now. She's living in bliss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So Tom, isn't it about time that you finally are in bliss and go home? Would you like to know what it feels like to be even happier? Yeah. All right. So, Tom, I want you to look inside of you and find that spark of light, the light from the Creator, and tell me when you find it. Now, Tom, make it bigger. Make that light as big as you are, and even bigger. Make yourself so big in that light, mm. you feel like a star, shining. How does that love feel? Feels good, doesn't it? Mm. This is the love of the Creator. This is the love that you were meant to go to. Are you ready now to feel that bliss all the time? Yeah. Very good. So begin pulling from her body all of your energy. And I'm going to ask the angels of the light to come down and surround you, Tom, and tell me what they tell you. They're ready to take you. Ready to take you. So I'd like for you now to go through the top of her head right here. Archangel Michael is waiting for you. And he's going to take you straight back to source, to the oneness the point of creation and tell me when you get there Tom who's there mm, everybody's here all your friends and family Everybody. very good so Tom I'd like for you before you leave go ahead and beam some of that white light into her body that bliss from the creator zap her with that beautiful light and as you do that, may the light of the universe always accompany you, Tom. Thank you very much. So now I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael to go ahead and begin filling that space with his healing light, bringing her whole again. And I'd like to ask the higher self if there are any others that perhaps are attached with Tom. Her neck. Her neck. Mm -hmm. what's, what's going on in her neck? Let's bring that over. I'm going to bring the energy up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What's your name? Churn. What is it? Churn. 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 How long have you been there with her? It's the 90s. The 90s? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Churn? Mm, old, old. Mm -hmm. Like how old? Oh, hundreds, thousands of years mm -hmm. old. So, Churn. What was the reason why you attached to her neck? Because I could. Mm -hmm. I knew you could. What was going on in her life that allowed you? She was looking. Mm -hmm. She was looking. What was she looking she for? She was opened up. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, she was open? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So, what is it that you do to her? How does she feel, you churn? I shut down her voice mm -hmm. and I make her hurt and What else do you do? How do you impact her life? Mm. I just make things harder on her. Mm -hmm. And what is the reason why you're doing this, Churn? Mm. 
because I can't. And it hurts. I'd well, like to. You'd like to. Is it that you are feeling some sort of a pain, Karen? Did someone do something to you? Yeah. What did they do to you? How were you hurt? Violently. Violently. What happened to you? What did they do to your body, Charon? Torture. They they cut. What did they? They cut my neck. Ah. Did you do something wrong? No. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. So, Chern, all this time, you've been here feeling miserable. Is that right? Yeah. Well, the only way to feel better is to be able to heal again, to feel happiness, to raise your vibration. Can I help you with that today? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Charon, I'd like for you now to look for that spark of light within you. Tell me when you find it. Mm. All right, make it bigger, Charon. Bigger and bigger until it takes up your entire body. And then make it even bigger. Make it so big, I need sunglasses. How does that feel? Mm. Bright. Bright. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Now, Chern, I'd like for you to visit that life in which you were being tortured and your head was cut off. And I'd like for you to use now that light to begin healing that body. Bring that head back and begin healing your tortured soul and body. Tell me how that feels, Jern. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. What a relief, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any need for you to continue no. in this tortured state? No. So I'd like for you now to begin using your light to detach from her neck. Begin releasing all of the attachment to her. And then I'd like for you now to go up through the top of her head and Archangel Michael will receive you. What would you like to tell Mary before you leave? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead with Archangel Michael, and tell me if there's anybody there waiting for you. Yeah. Who's there? My brothers and mm -hmm. sister, family. Wonderful. And you can now meet them with your head intact. <laughs> May the light of the universe always accompany you, Chern. Thank you very much. And now I'd like for Archangel Raphael to go ahead and begin sending that healing light to the part of her body where Chern was attached. Begin absorbing all of that and projecting the light. And now tell me if there's any others in her body. No. Very good. Thank you so much. So she also has questions that I'd like to continue on about her body. Would you do a body scan on her? And let's find out what's going on with her body. Her intestines are pretty messed up. Mm -hmm. What's causing the intestines to be messed up? Mm. She'd had surgery, uh, a hysterectomy, mm -hmm. and uh, reattachment, and all that, and something was put on correctly. Mm -hmm. 
Can we get the non-physical physicians to come in, please, and begin working on her? And getting that area fixed. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. But tell me what it is that they're doing to help her today. <laughs> they're shining lights from themselves into me. Mm -hmm. How many are there? Three. And how will that help her now with her digestion? To be able to do everything fine. <laughs> Very good. Very good. What about the rest of her body? She's fine. Mm -hmm. She's fine. What's causing the cholesterol to be so high and the blood pressure out of balance? Genetic. Genetic. Is there anything that we can do today to can begin changing those genetics? We know that there is a change that we can do. We are all creator beings, and as she was told before, these bodies aren't really anything. So can we begin changing the genetics of her body? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's begin connecting with all of the cells in her body. And let's begin downloading the new program. The one of a totally healthy human being. And tell me when that's done. Okay. Very good. What's causing the low energy? The weather. The weather. So what can she do? She says she lives in a place where it's not very sh shiny, not a lot of sunshine. I'm sure it's got a lot of green grass. Mm. But how can she increase her energy? She needs to just start doing something. Mm -hmm. She needs to just start doing something and not notice. Oh, yeah. Let's just go do things. Get it done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you give her please a shot of energy when she's home so that she can begin doing stuff? Yeah. Thank you very much. She wants to give a big thanks to her higher self for all the things that you've shown her in her life. Is there anything that you would like to tell her now that she, you've got her under divided attention? We love you so much. Would you tell me what is the reason why you brought her from such a long distance here today. What was the purpose of this visit? She wanted to feel the gifts that you have, Alba. Mm -hmm. She's, she feels the love for you, that you're doing so many wonderful things. So happy that you're there. She just had to come here. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll probably be going there too. <laughs> so, is there anything else that you would like to tell her today? Or anybody else? Just keep looking. Keep questioning yourself and things you do and why you do them. Very good. Thank you very much. Are we complete today? Thank you. Wide right awake feeling wonderful all over. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs>
What do you think? That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cigarette. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> wow, that was really something. Wow. So you've had other experiences before. How does how did this fare? What did you get from this one? <sighs> this was really good. This was like, this was like having a a really um, mind blowing meditation. Mm. Yeah. How long do you think you were on this journey? How did it feel? About an hour. Yeah, we're on an hour and 52 right now. Uh, oh my gosh, are you serious? Wow. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Yeah, yeah. So is this something you want to share? Oh, or you want to keep sure, private? Sure, I don't, yeah. I, yeah, I'm not a private person. <laughs> 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 They're gonna have to put up with all the uh, the tree trimmings and grass cuttings. That, did you hear any of that? I, I did only in the very beginning, and then it, and then nothing. I heard nothing. If there was something going on, I yeah. don't know that. Yeah, it's on the recording. You'll hear that. But, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, landscaping noises out there. But hey, you know this just proves that you can be anywhere and still be in hypnosis. It does, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. And the selenite do for you. I had a big chunk on top of your head, too, so this one was... Well, you know, I vibrate anyway yeah. all the time. Yeah, so that was just part of it? <laughs> so it was like, just part of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. So let me switch this selenite with some shungite, so that you can get yourself grounded. There you go. Get your hands cooled off, too. Wow, that is cold. All right. So, how'd it go? How'd it feel? It was, it was like I was felt pretty aware. Yeah, you weren't sleeping. No, no, no. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was pretty aware. Uh huh. I know that my jaw felt clenched, like, like when I'm grinding my teeth at night. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Now we so. had we had kind of like three big experiences. One was this other dimensional being that came through. Mm -hmm. That's the one with your the the little tracking device that you have here. <laughs> and they talked about the change. Do yeah. you remember that? I remember everything. Yeah. I remember. How everything. did that feel? Because that was pretty intense. Um. Yeah. It was. It was like. Am I saying this? I don't think I'm <laughs> saying this. And it just kind of yeah, kind of spew out. Yes. You know what I mean? Well, that's what just... it feels like. That's what the higher self feels like. Yeah. It just spews out. That you're not even thinking about it. It just comes out. Yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things is I'm I'm really close to my higher self all the all time. All the time. Anyway. Exactly. That I didn't lose track of what I was you know what I mean? Like I was there too. Yeah, I, I was. I am that. So yeah, yeah you are your higher self. Yeah, a absolutely. And another thing was with uh, the two entities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one that was Tom. That just was a feel-good guy. He yeah, apparently he jumped I in and you missed your... him when he was leaving. I was like, oh man. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of a lot of people do have attachments to others. So you you were kind of holding him down too. Because, I suppose I was. Yes, yeah. because sometimes we, not only the, do they attach to us, but we attach to them, that we don't want to let them go. Mm. And, you know, it's it's their free will and our free will, too. So, I didn't think of it from that point. Yes, Thank you. so you were holding him from not... I probably was. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, and then you had the one in your neck who had been beheaded. That was an ugly one. I could see that one. Really? Was, what did he look like? He looked like a muscle. A liver, a, you know that red, that dark, ugly. Yeah. And yeah, and when it came out, I could see that big thing just. So how do your neck feel now? Oh, it feels better. <laughs> it does. It really does. Honestly. And then we have, feels good, huh? It always hurts, and it doesn't hurt. Wow. <laughs> I'm serious. This is so weird. Yeah. What about your stomach? How does that feel? Well, we'll 
see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll find <laughs> out. So uh, this was a, a really nice session. We had a lot of noise here, and that does happen. Uh, just because there's noise out there does not mean that you cannot be hypnotized. This is not like putting the baby to sleep. You, you, you had told me, eh, I heard a little bit at first, at but first. it all fades. So, you know, we can do this in the middle of a party, you know, with, with lots of music in the background. As long as you're listening to my voice, you can be hypnotized. It doesn't have to be quiet. It doesn't have to be dark. Um, you know, hypnosis is just an altered state. Yeah. So tell everybody where you're from. Well, I've been living in Ireland for the last six and a half years. <laughs> and I'm going to get my citizenship soon. Yes. Duo citizenship. Yeah. And tell everybody what you're doing there. What you're going to be doing. Right? You got your course. You did your oh, course. Yeah, I did my course. Yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. <laughs> she is a QHHT practitioner. Right? I'm going to do this. She's going to do this. So if you're in Ireland. She's looking for for people to hypnotize, right? I, I do. I need yes. a place to do it, though. I, I don't well, she comes to you. So. She'll come to yeah. you. I'll come so to you, yeah. It's very different. Yeah. So, you know, some practitioners have a place like I do, but when I travel, I travel all over the world. I do that in either an Airbnb or a hotel, so people come to me. So in your case, you can go to them. So do you recommend this to other people? Oh, yeah. Now that you've experienced this I, I definitely do. Yeah. I definitely do. I think that, I think everybody needs a way to expand. Yeah. You know? And one of the things that, that people always wonder is, you know, I started out with QHHT, which is quantum healing hypnosis technique. It was uh, created by Dolores Cannon. She was a hypnotherapist who taught people very basic hypnosis, uh, how to go to past lives, how to talk with a higher self. Now that you've been through the course and you've now gone to me, to me I'm a hypnotherapist. I've had all sorts of different training. Um, what do you feel is the biggest difference? Between what you do and... Um, yeah. This is more in touch mm -hmm. with... That is basic. When you say basic, yes. that's how it feels. It's yes. basic. Yes. And it's good. It's good. It's great. It okay? Is, yeah. I'm not putting QHHT down. I mean, QHHT is fantastic, uh, but sometimes you need a little bit. This is like a step higher. A step, yeah. yeah. A step beyond. Yeah. It's yeah. like it's like the initial, Dolores Cannon was amazing to have created that back Wonderful. in the 70s. Yeah. And to bring that. And now, to me, part of I don't know what's wrong with my face. <laughs> to me, you're like the next level. You know what it's I mean? Just like, it's even, just different. It's different, yeah. Even I'm talking when people are getting into this, and mm -hmm. back in the day it was Dolores Cannon. Yeah. Now it's Alba Weinman. <laughs> Seriously. Well, yeah, but we still, I still always recommend the QHHT training because it's really excellent training. It is. Uh, so if you want to be a practitioner, you can, you can do the QHH tra uh, QHHT training. Uh, there is a discount code that I have. If you want to use a uh, discount, get 10% off, use the code Trinity and you'll get 10% off on that course. Uh, but then of course I have uh, my friend, uh, which I recommended to you, Antonio Sanjo, who also does uh, hypnosis training online and we can you can try that one. Yeah, next. That up, yeah. yeah. So if you would like a session with me, um, go to albaweinman.com. I am booked way into the future, um, but I do travel all over the place. Uh, in fact, I am going to the UK and around Europe uh, next year. And if you want to know when that is, you sign up for my newsletter. Uh, just go to my website, go to the out of town page, and on the bottom there is a sign up for my newsletter. And I release. Uh, cities where I'm going to next and once I release a city then you can book my calendar until then my calendar is closed until I tell everybody when where I'm going to next but I hope you enjoyed this session I sure did and I hope I get to see you sometime soon thank you for watching bye <laughs> thank you oh, so much oh, you're welcome. thank you you're such a sweetheart